Nitrous oxide is more commonly known as laughing gas. It's kind of like making you really happy and it's just disconnect you from, you still feel the pain, but you don't really care about it. Many patients are given the gas at the dentist's office to help alleviate some pain and anxiety. But what about for a mother giving birth? Nitrous oxide has been used in many, many places in Europe for so many years, and it's another option for patients. I think when you're in labor and you want to have your kind of like some control over what's happening during your labor, a lot of patients want to have options, and they just don't want to be stuck to, okay, you're getting an epidural or you're getting nothing. Inside Science. So during labor, they have a few options that they can choose from. The most widespread and efficient is the neuraxial technique, which includes epidural. So it's a basically an injection that you give in the back of the patient and you leave a catheter in place and you run some medication that helps with contraction pain. Other options include aromatherapy, music therapy, and medications delivered intravenously. The downside of medicine in the blood, though, is it can affect the baby. Dr. Barbara Orlando has been researching the use of nitrous oxide, or laughing gas, to manage labor pain. It's not been that popular in the U.S. because there was a lot of concern regarding environment, maternal safety, baby safety. So we try to work on that with a lot of my colleagues from five different institutions to try to collect a lot of data on the nitrous oxide during labor. Nitrous oxide is an inhaled anesthetic gas that doesn't necessarily eliminate labor pain, but has been shown to help reduce anxiety and make patients less aware of pain. Researchers say laughing gas does not affect the baby based on APGAR scores, which are an assessment of a newborn's overall condition and health one minute and five minutes after birth. The number ranges from zero to 10, with scores of seven to 10 considered healthy. So we showed that the baby come out after the mom used the nitrous oxide, the APGAR score is usually good. It's the same as for other babies. Doctors say that nitrous oxide is easy to use, inexpensive, and could be an option for more patients, especially those looking for a birthing center or more home-like type of delivery experience. We wanted to show the mom that there's other options they can have. It's not as efficient as labor epidural, but it helps you get by in the meantime. Laughing gas may not be for every mom in labor, but researchers think it may be just what some patients are looking for. I think the nitrous oxide works in certain patients who are really, really, really motivated to get nothing. And are in their mind, they're already set in, I'm not getting anything, I'm gonna go through my labor, and it just takes the edge off. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.